Greetings! I'm going to show you how to tie the Chinese uniform sash, also known as a yao dai. This is imperative for all students, teachers, and practitioners of Tai Chi Chuan, Kung Fu, and Wu Shu to know how to do. The first thing you want to do is ask your teacher on which hip should the knot be. And this varies widely by tradition. In my school, we happen to put it on the right side. Another thing you want to be aware of is that some schools are very strict about not letting the sash touch the floor. In my school, we really don't worry about it as much, but just to keep in mind the tradition of your school. Now, you have the sash, and I'm going to show you two common ways to tie it. The first one is the single wrap. The second one is the double wrap. For the single wrap, you want to take maybe about a foot and make it like about a foot or a little bit more. Place it against the point of your hip. Take the rest of it, put it flat against you, wrap it behind you until the two ends meet, and then tie a single knot like this. Very, very simple. Okay, and pull it rather taut. And you want it on your waist or even a little below. Then you're going to take the long end, and what you want to do is drape it over the back of your hand like this, kind of like you're going to then make a sling by pulling it underneath the short end. Okay, so I took the long end, I wrap it underneath the short end, and then I grab the long end, and I'm going to pull it through the loop that I made with the long end. Now, I have to secure the short end because if I don't, the whole thing is going to unravel loose. So as I pull the loop through, and you got to wiggle your hand through there, I'm going to pull down on the short end and adjust it. So the tails should be hanging down, and the loop should be just a little bit shorter than the tails. And then you adjust it, make it tight, make it neat. Now the second way, which is the more common way, is going to make the loop and the tails shorter. And this is good because it won't get in your way if you're working with a partner. You want to take a smaller end, so maybe about 8 inches or a little less even, and place that against your hip. And you're going to wrap it twice. So just like before, wrap it around you. And if somebody's really skinny, they might even have to wrap it three times. Okay, and then wrap it around again, keeping it nice and neat, just like the cummerbund of a tuxedo. Okay, and then take the short end, take the long end, together, they make a single knot, just like that. And then once again, what we're going to do is take this long piece, put it on the back of your wrist, pull it underneath the short one, okay, then with your hand, with your free hand, grab the long one, you're going to pull it through its own loop. So you need this hand free to hold the short one in place so that it all doesn't unravel. So secure it. Then as you're pulling down on the short end, pull that long end through its loop. Make sure you don't pull it all the way out. And then just keep adjusting it until the knot and the tension is to your liking. And then unfan that loop, hang it down, and there you go. Okay, it's very easy to do. Now if that still trips you up, don't worry. What you can do is cheap. And how we do that is we tie a knot just like we're going to tie our shoes. And I take the long end, I put it over the short end, that's a little bit easier. And then the long end, I'm going to just make one loop like this. Okay, so it's like one part of a bow. Tie it with the short one, pull it through like this. And you know it's ostensibly doing the same thing as what I just did before. It's just a different way to go about it. It's a little easier, so if you really have a hard time, you can resort to that. And then again, adjust it and just hang it down over your thigh like that. Now what I like to do, however, is you see that these sometimes come apart like this? What I like to do is when I make this double wrap of the, um, the sash, I like to take the long end and wrap it around the whole shebang first, not just the little one, but both layers, this little one and then this layer I wrapped around me. And that's because it makes it more secure. Okay, and that's great because when you're doing a lot of stuff in class, you really don't want this to fall apart. Okay, so then you tighten it up where you like it, wear it where you need it, and then you do the same thing. You take the long one, drape it over your arm, get the short one underneath there, and take the long one, pull it under the short one, grab the long one, so the long one is wrapped around your wrist, wrapped around the short one, and then you're holding it because you're going to pull it through its own loop, so make sure you can get your hand through there. 
then pull down on the short end, pull through, and just keep adjusting it, okay, so that you have two tails and a loop. Okay, and then hang it down. You'll notice that this little label is here on a new sash, so you probably just want to clip that off. It looks a lot cleaner, and it won't scratch you. Okay, and that's as easy as it is. Now make sure when you do this that you don't look like a kung fu slob, so have your shirt tucked in. If you're wearing your jacket, what you do is you put your jacket on with your shirt tucked in, and then you put the yao dai over the jacket, okay? So you fasten up the jacket, and you wear that over. And if you need to take your jacket off, if you're getting really warm in class, you just undo your jacket, just kind of slip it through, and then just readjust your sash. And it's that simple. Feel free to share this with anyone who needs to know how to tie this sash, and I wish you a wonderful day. Zai Jin.